Hey all, we're back with another Lorewolf gameplay video, episode 4. Today, we'll be taking a look at the crafting system, which will be the first of several profession videos we will be covering in this series. We'll go over how crafting works, as well as some of the things that you can look forward to with this profession. First, I'll outline the general layout of the crafting page. Up top, you'll see all of the unused recipes you have acquired in your inventory. Hovering over these recipes will show more details, such as what the recipe can create, what ingredients it requires, and the level required to learn it. You'll see that most of these are too high level for me, so I'll have to wait to learn them until later on. Underneath these are all of your known recipes. Once a recipe has been learned, you can easily see what materials are needed to create it. Clicking on these will automatically load the recipe into the crafting table. Shown below are all of the materials you have at your disposal. Most of these can be found within the mole market or through various professions or activities, such as mining, fishing, or the gauntlet. To the right is our crafting NPC, a friendly otter named Miss Mac. She's the one who will do all of the crafting for you. Simply give her a recipe and the required materials and she will create it over a set duration of time. Her crafting table shows whatever recipe you have selected and the required materials to create it. You can also see how long it will take to craft. To make things a little bit more user friendly, we've included buttons to let you create multiple items with just one click. This way you can leave the crafting window and let Miss Mac assemble items in bulk while you're away. I'm going to do some mining later, so let's craft a copper pickaxe. I don't have the recipe yet, so let's head over to the mole market to see if it's available. You'll find a lot of different materials with every refresh, so it's a good idea to check back in periodically to see if there's anything new. I'll scroll down to the recipes section, and there it is. I'll buy one of these and it will be sent to the crafting page. Let's head back there now. Alright, so you can see our new copper pickaxe recipe has been added to our unused recipes list. I can now learn this recipe, which will add it to the known recipes below. It requires 5 bone paste, 5 string, 4 copper bars, and 1 sturdy stick. Looks like I have all of the materials, so I'll scroll down and hit create. And there we go, a brand new pickaxe that I can use while mining. This will let me collect ore 600% faster. There's many different recipes to discover, such as ones like this pickaxe that improve gameplay, as well as those that create cosmetic items like apparel. As with all of our professions, we plan on there being a series of campaign quests that unlock once you've achieved a specific level in that profession. For instance, if you reach crafting level 10, a new quest will become available as a possible scenario. These quests will be loosely related to the profession and will offer exclusive rewards that you can't get anywhere else in the game. This should give players an additional incentive to level up their professions. And that about sums up Lorewolf's crafting system. If you have any questions, go ahead and share them in the comments below. We'll be going over the other professions in the following videos, so stay tuned. See you next time.